In this video, I wanted to share with you a blitzing concept that you can use against the gun bunch out of the nickel normal defense that I think is going to really create some incredible pressure, not only for a bunch, but really anything. It's a, it's a really incredible concept. It's something you can do out of nickel normal that you really can't do, honestly, out of any other. I mean, you can do it out of a couple of other formations, but not as good as you can do it out of nickel normal. And what this concept basically is, is we're going to take advantage of how powerful the contained blitz is in this year's game. And so, uh, again, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. Our channel focuses entirely on helping people become better Madden players. And every single day we do videos that are designed to help you become a better player. So if you want to get better at the game, I would really encourage you to subscribe. Uh, it's completely free to do that. And, and we're going to talk today, we're in the San Francisco playbook, and I'm going to talk today about a blitzing concept out of this formation. So to illustrate this, we're just going to use the verticals uh, out of the gun bunch. Very easy uh, defense to, to do this from. And the defense that I like to run this from, you can run it from zone as well. Um, so I'll, I'll have cover six in my audibles. But we're going to show it out of Overstorm Brave because it's already set up for us. Uh, but you could, you could do this out of anything. Now, um, the other thing real quick is I just put a major, and I mean a major update to my Nickel Normal Defensive Guide uh, into my Patreon membership. If you don't know what the Patreon is, it's basically where you get all of my high-level stuff. So I've got 20 offensive and defensive guides in there. I've got exclusive updates that we've been putting in there every single week for the course of the Madden 22 season. It's really like a vault of content or a library of content that I've accumulated over the year that is like literally my best stuff. So if you want to get my eBooks, if you want to get all my updates, my little twists and tweaks um, as the game has gone on, it's a great resource for you. It's only $10 a month to sign up for it. And the cool part about it is once you sign up for it, you get automatically all the new stuff and all the old stuff and all the current stuff. So you get everything for just $10 a month. There's a link in the description below to sign up for the Patreon if you're interested in doing that. And today, like I said, we're going to be focusing in on the Nickel Normal Overstorm Brave concept. It's really, um, you can do this out of anything. It doesn't have to be Overstorm Brave. I'm just using it because the linebackers are already blitzing. Okay? So what's really cool about this defense is there's two different ways you can set this up. And I'm going to show you the first one, and then we're going to show you the, the little tweak that I really enjoy from this. So the first setup is just pinch your defense and user the linebacker opposite the running back. So I, I like to put my user in a deep blue if I'm blitzing. It just helps the pressure. But that's literally it. And what you should see here is we're going to get pressure from one of our defensive ends. That's literally all you have to do. So literally you just come out, pinch your defense, put this guy in his own, you're done. Okay, and you'll see here the pressure oftentimes comes off the right. Um, if you want the pressure to be a little cleaner, then just crash your line out. And I'll show that real quick. So just pinch your defense, crash your line out, put this guy in his own. Kind of get the center of this, the attention, and as you can see, the pressure screams. Now, what about if they block somebody? So let's say they block their running back, for example. So I'm going to show you that. And this is really where my beef comes in with this concept. It's a great blitz. But if they block their running back, you see that there's really no pressure. And that's, to me, the problem. Okay? So if they block their running back, there's really no pressure. So what can you do? Well, there's another thing that you can do, and that's this is kind of more of a match concept, but you can send six at them. So we can get into a situation where we send six, and you should see we're still going to get really good pressure. Now, this is going to force them to max protect because even if they block their tight end, and I'll show you that real quick, even if they block their tight end, and the, the beauty of this is it's just a very simple defensive setup, right? And this is going to kind of, we're going to build on this concept in my nickel Y9 defensive ebook. But what you'll see is now I'm going to block my tight end. And what you should see is we're going to get pressure coming through the middle. Okay, and I'll show you that one more time because it got a little clipped up there. I think it's because I forgot to crash my line out. But if they block their tight end, you should get pressure off of the, the opposite edge. So you see, see there, I guess we did get picked up again. But the bottom line is you're generally speaking, you're going to get pressure. Okay, just trust me. You're gonna get pressure. You're sending six on five. Um, you might you, you might just have to come down a little bit more than we originally had to. So just really come in, and there you see the pressure. Okay, so that's the concept. So that's kind of concept one that you can use. You can use this blitz, and it's gonna work really well for you. Um, it really puts them in a position where they have to they have to block. Uh, they have to they have to do something, right? Um, one other thing, real quick. So like, let's say they block their running back. 
and you send this you send this version of the blitz right so you still have everybody manned up um one thing i just wanted to quickly point out is if you do that um you see here that the running back still to pick this up okay to me that's problematic because we still aren't giving ourselves that much of an advantage so this is where i came up with this other blitz which is very similar to the four three even six one and it allows us to still have these two safeties over the top of the defense um, if we want them there, okay? So what I like to do is we're gonna go ahead and pinch our D-line. We're gonna shift our linebackers opposite of the nickel corner. And what this creates is a four down line in front with potential blitz here and a potential blitzer here. All we're gonna do is we're going to slide this guy in just a little bit, put him on a contain, and then we're gonna stand right here. And what you should see with this is we, if we do it right, we're going to get this nice little rush off of the left side. This got me to thinking, well, this is basically the nickel 335 wheel. It's just a little bit easier of a setup, right? All we have to do is just move this guy in just a little bit. We always have to move people for contains this year. It's just kind of the way the game works. Now, if they block, let's say they block their tight end. Now, if they block their tight end, your pressure is still coming in. You're only sitting five, by the way. And your pressure is still coming in against with a block tight end. It's also still coming in, and I'll show this. It's also still coming in if they block the running back. So again, as long as you get that contain right, you're going to hold, and you'll see this contain loop around the running back just like the, oh yeah, the 3-3-5 wide blitz. And we're only sending five. So they can't block it with their tight end, and they can't block it with their running back. What they, what they also can't do is if they max protect... What you'll see is again, and you see he's standing here, literally just move him in just a little bit, okay? Just like, we're talking like a, a barely hardly at all, just a, just a little quick movement. Um, but this is a max protect, and what you'll see against max protect is it does sometimes pick it up, but it's honestly not very consistent in terms of the pass protection side of things. You will get a lot of pressure even if they max protect, and I'll show this again. So again, you're just moving him in, you put him on a contain. I like to stand here. And then we'll block the tight end and the running back. And that time we did get picked up. Okay, but we get sheds and all that. And they only have three routes. Like there's, you know, there's benefit to this. Um, now, let's say we want to get pressure against Max Protect. Well, all we need to really do here, and again, remember, we're bringing this guy off the edge. But now we can turn this into kind of 4-3 even, right? So now what we can do is we can say, nickel corner, you're going to blitz. And then we're just going to cover the running back ourselves. So you see here, this is we're just sitting in the nickel corner. Super simple. If they max protect, a lot of times we're going to get this A gap pressure, as you saw right there. You're going to get something. Okay. Typically, you're going to get something. Now, the beauty of this concept is it applies to audible. So let's say, for example, that you've set your defense up, you're ready to go, and you've already moved this guy. And let's say that they flip their bunch. Now this guy's misaligned. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to move him off the edge, contain him. And then now if you look at the coverage, we're just going to fix the coverage. And we still have cover guys covering cover guys and backers covering backers. And what you're going to see here is now the pressure is going to come off of this side. Very, very simple defense. The beauty is you don't have to, you don't have to travel the nickel corner if you don't want to. So let's say, for example, that they go from here and they go to bunch tight end, one of the better, um, one of the better setups or, or formations in the game. Well, now what we can easily do, again, we're probably doing something like this, if you will. And let's say we want press on that guy. Well, we're going to man this guy up on him. We're going to have this guy in his own or whatever. Maybe we put this guy in uh, cross man on the tight end. And then we take this guy and cross man him on the running back. Now what you can do with this guy is you can send him off the edge. And now what you'll see is your contain is going to keep him in the pocket. They have to beat you with three routes, which is difficult to do in this game, in this year's game. You really want to have at least four. And this is a defense that basically forces you to have to max protect guard or to, to pick it up. Uh, we talk about one more formation, and that's troops tight end. So let's say that we face trips tied in. You know, again, what we can do here, same basic thing. We can bring this guy over here, 
and now we have a, a defender here. And then if we want to create kind of a really interesting defense, you probably wouldn't run this in particular coverage, but you could just assume just run this guy off the edge. That way you gives you a guy you can blitz off both sides, but now you force pass protection. You see how fast that pressure comes on him? And so the beauty of nickel normal, the other last thing I want to say about it is let's say you are defending a, uh, a trips tight end, for example. One other last thing that you can do with this is you can move the linebackers just like you can out of odds. So like, let's say we want to move this guy over here. That's fine. Now we force a very specific defense or offensive pass protection scheme, which is going to get super shedded because we're in a nice little concept. Okay. So you can build off of this principle. There's a lot more to be had in this. We talk a very uh, in depth about the defense and the concept in our uh, Patreon. So if you want to get the Patreon and learn all of that stuff, it's only $10 a month. Remember, it does get you access to everything. It doesn't just get you access to one ebook. It gets you access to over 20 offensive and defensive guides. I've got a brand new defense that's coming out this week in the membership. And I've also got a ton of exclusive updates over there for you as well. So if you want to get better at Madden, look no further than our Patreon. If you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description. So you can head on down there right now. Click that link that I put down there for you and you can go check out the membership.